got to get his pants done here. So I wanted to do green pants. I'm thinking avocado dip on them too. Now this bright green might be too bright. Let's get it on and see. It's not quite the color, but I could add other colors. So it's a little bright. That's okay. So I'm going to get it on the pants for sure. Um, I've got some on some leaves here too. So I think I'm just going to go with this bright green kind of everywhere and then add more to his pants. So I'm not going to, I'm going to try to keep it onto the leaves here. Now I'm on the leaves, so I'm just going to make sure I just get them on the leaves. <laughs> Let's see if this works for me. I'm thinking the leaves were going to be kind of a uh, pain in the books anyways. But if I do it this way where I'm kind of playing and changing the color of the pants off from the base color of the leaves, it might actually be not as difficult then. So, I'm just going to work that way. And uh, see how that works for me. Of course, I'll be adding different colors to the greens, but it'll be a different... Uh, leafy greens and stuff like that that I'll do and I'll do the olive green and then the deep um I'm liking the the antique gold and deep so it's going to kind of make his pants brownie green so I kind of like that so I think that's going to work for me oops wrong color wipe that off <laughs> wrong color So I kind of like that idea. So I'm just going to go in and make sure I get my greenery. Then I could pay attention to the flowers after and be, be pretty pleased, I think. How that turned out. So, uh, the bright green being the base colors, I think, kind of. I thought that was a rock at first, so I wasn't going to paint it, but now it looks like leaves. <laughs> it is leaves. And his shoe. But that's okay. So, I'm going to get the grass here. I'm just going to change up the colors of everything, you know, adding layers. He's got some sort of, uh, looks like a spade. So I'm going to go over his pants now. And yeah, there's leaves here. So those will just be all different colored greens, all different kind of greens and that. And I think it'll be easier for me to paint over the pants and change the tone having a green base so that's good just checking out what's flower what's leaf I don't want to go over the flowers so I'm gonna get his pantaloon
looks like the rocks back here, or is that, see, again, it could be grass. I'm just going to make it green. That's, it looks like grass, actually. Leaves. And that's probably his boot that I started painting, but I can just go over that with a little, mm, probably like a brown or with some gray and stuff. So there is his base for his pants here. And There we go. So now it's just adding colors to his pants to make the different grade. Let that dry a bit. Wipe my paint brush off. The bright green is no more. I even like this um, arbor green, so I might even add some of that first. It's a darker. So I'm gonna heat up this so that it's good. Oh, see, I didn't even was even recording that. So I did the deep green base. I don't know if I recorded that much. And then I put the um, arbor green on top for his pants. So then I have green base, and it kind of goes with the... It's easier to blend with the leaves and that kind of thing. I thought it'd be easier than just, like, a bright colored pant. And then having to do the green leaves just won't quite... Won't quite work for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this avocado dip a bit more. And I'm going to throw it down on a napkin or paper towel that I've been just a little bit. Because I can't get that brush in there. <laughs> and for some reason, yeah. So I'm going to grab some of that and just kind of brush some of that off. And just go on. There's pants and just kind of highlight it just like that and like I said it's going to be so good with the green other greens that it's going to be okay so again another highlighted color on um, this one I'm not going to rub off Just gonna kind of get his pants to stand out a bit. Like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the now probably the deep antique gold would be darker. No, I'm gonna go with the antique gold deep. They're both the same actually. So I'm going to go with that. And it's got kind of a khaki color to it. And I'm just going to throw that on there a bit. And not even worry about the dark spots. Because now I've got all the creases and all that stuff. And that's kind of just my highlight there see how that is and then kind of pull it together like that done his pants are done I'm liking it and I'm, I think I'm done with that Yeah. Okay, so I'm not sure. I just want to go over a little bit here on the pants. Looks pretty good. It's different tones of green, so I like that. I'm gonna do the brown um for the stick of the spade or whatever this is. I think it's the spade. 
And that's going to be just, I think, just the brown. I'm going to probably try to rub it off a bit. And, uh, have some of it. It's not got really any wood grain. It's got a little bit. So we'll see if I can rub some off with a little piece of paper towel and have a bit of a grainy look. And yeah. So what I'm going to do is grab the paper towel and just wipe them off. If it's even going to come off, it might be just too dry. There we go. That's a little bit of a damp towel anyway. And then I can just do some dry brushing of uh, another highlighting color here. Like this flesh tone might be too pink, but I could do the um, antique white a bit. So I can uh, just dab a little take my palette knife, grab a little antique white, and throw that on there. I got a little bit of blue in that antique white for some reason. I think my palette knife wasn't clean. That's okay. I'm just going to go over a little bit, wipe some of that off. We got a bit of the wood grain here. I need to get some up here, so I want to get as close as I can to his beard, his hand. And, uh, Here we go. Some of that happened in there. And then I'll get the black for the uh, spade. I'll do the, this is graphite, so I'll do that. Now it's getting close to done, guys. Um, I don't know, like, if there's the flowers, I'm going to do, like, I guess how you paint flowers, you can do the base. Kind of the same thing. Um, so I might do a darker or a lighter flower and then a darker top. I don't know, because it depends on what I want showing. Do I want low lights or do I want highlights? That kind of thing. So, now I'm just... Yeah. Just trying to get that going in there. So that's about that. Now on the top here for his thing, I kind of just got his canteen. I'm just putting a little bit of a low light here. And that's it. Now it's playing with a few things like that, right? So that's really nice. This canteen, I want it to be um, kind of like possibly like almost like the leather ones, this ones the old, but it could also be just like a gourd or something. So I wanted it that kind of color that imitate that. So I think now I just need a little graphite on his shoe boot and both of those and then I'm going to lighten those up with some highlights. Graphite being the base color and we're moving on to greenery after that and, and then the flowers. 
So this guy, I'm not sure like what you guys, uh, it's kind of like a fun painting, um, all these layers with you guys and just showing you guys a little some techniques. So I don't know, like this could be a long video. So what I'm thinking is either we could do like a little ser mini series of how to paint something and just have it loaded up in parts and depending on how long it is. I could do that probably for this and just have like a little playlist just for this thing and just say hey this is how if you you want to paint something here's how I did this and give you some a little bit of help there if you've never done some of this before so could be handy so I'm just going to go again like I said here with the dark graphite and lighten it up I wanted the shoes to be almost stone like so I do did want that didn't want them to be like black I wanted them to be some just variations of grays so I seen some quite a nice stony looking shoes on some of these guys so I'm like yeah, kind of like that look on the examples they have here on on the search so kind of like it so going in with the uh, again the name of it is graphite and then I think we'll search for maybe a, a silver yeah something nice a nice silver would be really cool choice yep I'm gonna go in with the silver I decided just now I'm thinking here thinking thinking and I'm like, mm, yeah silver silver it will be so kind of just being a little careful in the greenery here and you're not going to be able to tell the difference here until the silver comes in it kind of blends in with the spade I'm not going to do the spade silver I'm just going to do his shoes I think his boot so I'm kind of just going over it again And I'm very happy with those boots. They're so cute. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to be back with that silver. Okay, I'm going with the metallic uh, black pearl. Let's see how that will look. So I'm get, I got like a really fluffy brush. I'm dipping into the lid. Grabbing another square of uh, this. And kind of getting some of that off. And make sure my hand's not wet. Now I'm just going to get my boot. Oh, I like it. really like it really coming in nice I like how that looks I'm putting a little bit of this on the bottom pants here I like that so much okay again this way Quite the fluffy brush, got to be careful around the greenery. So the boot is looking really cute. And I'm just gonna um yeah, I'm not really gonna worry about that. I really like how this boot is so I'm gonna dry brush a little bit of this stuff back here a little bit on the pants just a little bit 
give some interest. A little on his hand. He's been working all day. I'm um, going a little bit even on the jacket a bit. I don't want too much. I just want a little bit of a like he's been working and digging. Very dry brush. Dipping it off, kind of getting it off, and yeah. So I've got a little bit on his jacket there. I like that. So he's been working. <laughs> guys, try. You guys must get some of it on. I'm dabbing it on here like this in my seat, the roof of it. Anyways, I'm going to grab a little bit and put it on the bottom of the rim of the hat. 